All right, I already know you are bleeding maroon. You have dreams of Aggie land, and you just want to go to Kyle Field, don't you? Well, you and a lot of other folks. So here are five tips, five tips for getting admitted into Texas A&M if you are not considered auto-admit, the top 10% of your high school class inside a Texas school. So first of all, understand a lot of the folks that we work with also are not auto-admit, but gaining admission into this awesome big state flagship university. But how are they doing it? Well, here's the inside scoop. First of all, major selection is key. Texas A&M has a lot of really awesome majors. Do yourself a solid and start learning about some of them. Don't just apply to the most popular majors and do yourself a disadvantage. Learn about all of the awesome opportunities, the learning experiences that you can get at Texas A&M and make sure that you apply to the major that authentically, authentically demonstrates your sincere interests. Dream big, go for gold, and pick the major that's right for you, but it may not be the most commonly known major. Second, demonstrate interest. Aggies love Aggies, and Aggies want to know if they invite you to the party, are you coming? Texas A&M is really looking at their yield rates, and they want to be your first choice university. And so what I mean by this is, Making sure that you're showing them some love throughout your high school career. Make sure that you're registered for their newsletters and that you're clicking on the links. Make sure that you're touring the university and making opportunities to connect with your admissions officers. Make sure that you are learning not just about a and but the department and that you are visiting their website and filling out informational forms as well. The number one way to demonstrate interest for Texas A&M is getting your application submitted early, which brings me to another pro tip. Texas A&M has what's called rolling admissions. This is truly unique. And they start reading applications as they come in. Now that application, it goes live on August the 1st. Let me tell you right now, you do not need to be sitting in front of your computer on August the 1st and submitting that application. But you do want to make sure that you get that application submitted by September the 1st, especially if you are not going to be considered auto-admit. What I mean by this is, while the deadline for applying for Texas A&M can be months down the road, the reality is... A lot of the good stuff is gone. Those seats are filling up. And pretty soon, what you had a 50-50 chance at getting admitted into is actually a lot less than that now because you're getting one of the leftover seats. So work hard over the summer, seniors, and prepare to have that college admissions application submitted to Aggieland by September the 1st. Pro tip, by the way. A&M is going to monitor how often or do you even check the status of your application after you've submitted it. Make sure that you're logging into your Howdy portal and checking your status from time to time. They want to know, are you applying to our university or are because it's a big state school and a lot of your buddies at your high school apply or are you sincere? Are you following along, checking the status? demonstrating interest is so important with A&M. The fourth pro tip that I have with Texas A&M is testing. While Texas A&M truly is test optional and a good test score certainly will help you, that's my whole point. You are going to go through a holistic review. You're not getting admitted into A&M because of a GPA or a class rank. So you want to plan on taking either the SAT or the ACT. A&M is test. Uh, they, they do not care which of these tests they have. They don't have a preference for one of these. But you do want to have something that you can kind of hang your hat on, especially if you're applying to a STEM-based major. Those test scores are going to be important. 
And again, as I mentioned, the few pro tips here for applying to Texas A&M are major selection, demonstrating interest, testing, timing, and number five, your essays. Also, another really great place to demonstrate interest. But use these essays as opportunities to highlight and reference your leadership towards the major you're applying to, your experiences that have helped shape you and inspired you to pick this particular major. And somewhere in your short answer questions, write this down. You want to talk about your connection to the university. What is it about Texas A&M? the learning facilities, faculty members, opportunities that you can't get anywhere else. What is it that Texas A&M has that no other university can provide? Best of luck and gig while you apply to Aggieland.